Hey freaks, what's going on? Welcome to Photography Stories Chapter 1. In this series I'm going to take you to 30 photography projects uh, that I have lined up. They're, these projects are all personal projects, meaning they're ideas, concepts, stuff that just came to my mind when I was like, I gotta try this, I gotta do this, this is what I wanna do. There's no money involved, just simply for the love of the art, stuff I wanna do. Liberated from the business aspect of photography, just for fun. But to start it off, I thought I'll actually uh, show you what I make 80% of my money with. So that's actually the business, my business photography, so to speak. Um, and that is real estate photography. So whereas all the following projects, like I said, are going to be fun projects. Yippee! This is actually what I do to earn most of my money. So first off, there, there are a number of ways that you can shoot real estate. Um, the simplest way is, of course, you expose for, for we're talking interior now, you expose for the interior room and then um, you, you bounce a flash um, set at TTL meaning basically you know auto exposure for the flash TTL standing for through the lens basically auto exposure for the camera auto exposure for the for the flash I do this with empty rooms so there if it's in a house with no furnitures um, most of my shoots are gonna be like that I might then do some window pulls but that's it. So very simple, very easy, nothing fancy here. Now if you have a furnished house, things get a little more interesting. First technique that I adapted when I started out five years ago was actually by, uh, totally forget, let me look it up real quick. Okay, I can't find it anymore. There is too many, too, there are too many photography channels out there. Anyways, the way it works is basically you do bracketing, multiple exposure, but then this guy where I, oh, when I got into it, learned it from, I guess I forget who it was. He used one exposure with um, artificial light. So he did four natural light bracketed exposures and one flash exposure, one flash shot in there. Um, and then he would do, you know, HDR bracketing. And his results really looked nice. Um, I could never quite get it to where I was 100% satisfied with this method. I did this for a while and, and then, you know, you could also just do three, five or seven uh, exposures and, and bracket it and do the whole HDR thing. And that's fine. That works, you know, gives you good enough results to, to please the client. Um, another uh, way of doing it is, uh, I think the guys here have the channel of Rich Baum, Rich Baum pulled up. This might be him or there might be another dude um, where I learned that technique from. It's where you combine one natural lit shot and one um, flash lit shot. And then you put like a luminosity mask on, on one of them. And I couldn't, I would always have to pull it up and then look, okay, well, now which uh, layer do, do you use the luminosity mask on? But you combine a natural and a artificial light uh, shot and use a luminosity mask and then, you know, paint in various areas. Um, and it would get you nice results um, but again when he explained it on, on, on YouTube you know the result looked really nice but I could never really get it so that I 100% liked it was good you know and I could certainly deliver it to a client it was a nice shot but there was always a little bit missing to to 
totally satisfy me, you know, as, a, as an, almost like an artist, you know. It would show the room perfectly and everything is nice, and, uh, but it was just not giving me that, that kick, you know, or like, oh yeah, that's a nice picture. So I kept looking, I kept looking, and uh, uh, a little while ago, about half a year or so, I came across Barry McKenzie. I purchased a workshop of his on uh, proedu.com, which I can highly recommend. And his style is basically, first you expose for the highlights, the, the interior lights, even though I like now to turn off interior lights, it gives a, a, a more cleaner look, I, f I think. And you expose for the, for the um, windows, the light that comes in there, you know, for the, you uh, expose for the highlights. Make sure that they are not blown out. And uh, he exposes with a flash the ceiling, he gets the ceiling right. And then he works on, on the inside, on the lower half of the image, on the inside, you know, with all the furnitures and the shadows and the lights. And he does it by walking around in the room and bouncing flash off of areas so that the flash imitates the light that's coming in through the through the windows so that you get the shadows and the the depth perspective uh, of the of how it's actually in the room you know that you get that right um, that's a very brief explanation but what you get um, is actually a very realistic, clean looking image, uh, uh, good looking image, you know. Um, since you use a lot of flash, you get all the white balance right, so you get all the colors right. It looks very clean, very nice, but yet, since you imitate the light that's coming in, you get all the shadows right, because if you only um, bracket, for example, then you get the shadows you get that all right, but sometimes it's just like not crisp enough, not clean enough. It's just a little um, wishy-washy, you know. Uh, the depth perspective is not, not, not as good as it could be. If you ask me how do I shoot, you know, real estate, Barry McKinsey style. And I don't know if he's, <laughs> he came up with that, you know, I'm sure others have done it before him, but um, that's how I do it and I really like the results. <laughs>